Hello and welcome to The View from the IMF. I'm here with the Jamaica's Finance Minister, Peter Phillips. Thank you for joining me. Um, so out of all the countries in Latin America and the Caribbean region, perhaps Jamaica is one of the few that may be a little bit less concerned about the um, uh, lack of global growth because of your closest trades with um, the US, which is not doing as bad as others. Well, uh, we'd always like a stronger world economy. Uh, we are seeing some of the effects of uh, the slowdown in the world economy, particularly in our bauxite alumina sector, mm -hmm. which um, we are low demand for aluminium because of the fallout of China has meant that prices have fallen and uh, we're not getting as much of the tax take as we would have expected. But otherwise, I think the overall effect of the global economic slowdown in emerging markets is not affecting us as much, simply because the strength of the US economy and, and of North America generally and the UK, which, which really are our main trading partners, has meant that we have seen some continued uh, growth in our tourism sector, for example, uh, in, in our export agriculture, uh, in remittance flows and others. So, so thing, things are starting to look up. And I know that uh, uh, the figures um, of uh, debt to uh, GDP are also improving. So uh, this ratio was 145% only three years ago, and now it's down to 125, which is still high, but obviously the trajectory is the right one. And the target is to hit 96% by 2020. Yeah. I'm assuming you're going to tell me you're optimistic that this can be reached. No, it, that can be reached. <laughs> yes. what, what, what is our concern is that it's still too high. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would want to see if we can secure even greater than programmed rates of growth to help reduce this debt further. And I think that there's a general need uh, for Jamaica and the Caribbean to to receive not only inflows, greater inflows of, of uh, investment capital, but also concessionary loan financing from the multilaterals. The Caribbean is a special case in our view. It's, it's middle income, yes it is true, but there are small countries in a, in a zone that is very vulnerable to climate related shocks hurricanes, um, for example, droughts, which have affected us in the last few years, consequence of this El Nino phenomenon, and which all has impact on a region which has a very high debt. Now, our problem is that we are of limited political and diplomatic reach in the in the global community and so there is not that much of a focus in the main financial centers and the movers and shakers of the global economy is, too. I guess why taking part in these meetings is, uh, is of, of great it's importance we carry everywhere. to Jamaica. I know that there is investments going on across the, the, the whole Caribbean mm -hmm. region to fortify your defenses against um, uh, the problems caused by climate change mm -hmm. um, and uh, natural disasters. Yes, two hurricanes in the last month. In oh, the Caribbean. So, exactly. Yes, so it's, an it's, example. It's, it's, Not it's in Jamaica important. directly, mm -hmm. but Dominica in the Eastern Caribbean suffered from Tropical Storm Erica. The Bahamas just suffered so from Wacky. So it's an important issue. It's a phenomenon affecting the region as a for, whole. For mm. the whole region. Well, thank you very much. Best of luck for your work. Um, and thank you again for your comments. Thank you.